Good morning, everyone, and welcome to What I Eat in a Day Mediterranean Diet, March edition. I like to start these videos by talking about what fruits and vegetables are in season for the month. We're into March now and we're starting to see signs of spring. So while we still see a lot of winter vegetables in the supermarket, we're starting to see asparagus and tomatoes and different kinds of lettuces popping up for salads. For dinner today, we're going to make a deconstructed chicken cacciatore. It sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> we're gonna take the flavors that I usually put in a chicken cacciatore, like bell pepper and mushrooms and garlic and onions in a tomato sauce, but we're going to do all those flavors separately. But first we're going to start by making a marinade for the chicken with tomato juice from the can of tomatoes and put different spices in it. So I'll show you as we go along. In this bowl we have boneless chicken that we've sliced into thin medallions and we're going to take that marinade that we made and just pour it in. You want the marinade to be kind of thick and now we're going to mix this all up together and we're going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to make dinner. I put the tomatoes that we separated out now into the food processor and I'm just going to put them on pulse couple of times like that and this is going to be the basis for our pasta sauce tonight. Now that we have the chicken marinating in the refrigerator it's time to pour ourselves a cup of coffee and make breakfast. Because we're in such a playful mood today with our deconstruction we're going to make scrambled eggs for breakfast with three kinds of pepper. So we have red pepper here, black pepper here, and a fresh jalapeno. We have these beautiful eggs from the farm and this delicious bread from our Italian bakery. We're going to garnish our plate with a few slices of radish and some grape tomatoes. I'm going to drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil over everything because if you've never had olive oil on your eggs, you really need to try it. breakfast a little late today so we're not actually going to make lunch but it's opening day for baseball here in Philadelphia and everybody's really excited because Bryce Harper has joined the team so the first game starts today at 3 p.m. I thought I'd make a little dip I don't have all the ingredients to make a proper guacamole but I do have this beautiful avocado I chopped up some garlic I chopped up some of that jalapeno that we used in the eggs this morning and I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper and I don't know, we'll see what else I have around. I'm just gonna kind of try to make a avocado dip that I'm just kind of making up as I go along. And we're gonna serve that with some tortilla chips. I've added a little dollop of sour cream and I'm gonna stir all this together. And then I chopped up three grape tomatoes here. Just to add a little color, I'm gonna fold them in at the end. Taking some time to squeeze in a visit to the gym before the big game and while the chicken is marinating. I'm having my post gym treat, which is an iced decaf non fat latte. Mm. So refreshing. It's important to go to the gym when you're on the Mediterranean diet because it's not just about the food. And it, well, it's important to get some kind of exercise. You don't have to go to the gym to get exercise. But for someone like me who works from home or if you work in an office, you're sitting down all day and you really have to just get up and move. So take a walk around your neighborhood, go to the gym if you can, or just dance around your living room. Just do some kind of movement and it will really help 
with, it helps you take in extra calories that day because you're burning off some calories. I also wanted to talk a little bit about deconstructing the chicken cacciatore. I was on a flight um, a couple years ago and they served us a deconstructed vegetable pot pie and it was so cool. <laughs> and I tried to make it at home and uh, it was just fun to have it sort of like the little pastry puff and then the vegetables on the side. And um, it was just a clean way of eating pot pie instead of a big messy pot pie. You know, and I love pot pie too, but you still get the flavors without all the juice and everything like that. So I, I also made a dinner the other day, which was one of my favorite dinners, um, which was chicken marsala. And it was kind of the way my mom used to make it. And it came out so perfect when I made it. And it's, it's basically chicken in red wine, and I serve it with mashed potatoes, and it makes a wonderful gravy and stuff like that. And you dip bread in it. And it was one of my favorite meals when I was growing up. And when I was eating it, I was just like, you know what? I don't really eat this way anymore. It was so much bread and gravy and things like that. And yes, it was delicious. But I try to really eat cleaner now. And, uh, and while it was delicious, um, I could probably figure out a way to deconstruct that too. So chicken cacciatore is always in a big pot all together. It's tomato sauce with these vegetables. And the vegetables that you put in give the tomato sauce a different flavor rather than just a marinara sauce, especially the bell pepper. And uh, it was one of my favorite meals as a kid. So we thought, why don't we deconstruct it? Try to make it a little cleaner, making the marinade for the chicken in a tomato base. So you're still getting those flavors and then all the vegetables are separate and it just makes a nice cleaner plate. And you know, it's just a trial, we'll see how it comes out. So I hope you enjoy it. take a second to show you this candle because I made this myself and if you'd be interested in a candle making tutorial let me know. We're going to cook up some peppers and some mushrooms on the stovetop because in a cacciatore sauce normally I would make a tomato sauce and I would put bell pepper and mushrooms and onions and garlic but this way we're going to cook them all separately. And here are the mushrooms that we're cooking up separately too. They have a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper. I prepared a baking sheet with some foil and I made separate compartments for the onion and the garlic and the rest of the tray is going to be where the chicken goes. to make the sauce. I'm gonna add a little olive oil to those tomatoes. I'm gonna add my spices. Some crushed red pepper flakes. Some oregano. Some salt and pepper, maybe some garlic. All right, let's crank up the heat and turn this into something. Got the pasta in the water. Oh, it's up. Coming along nicely, but I think we're gonna crank it up to 400.
draining the mushrooms and peppers so they're not too wet on the plate. And here's the chicken, onions, and garlic out of the oven. Mm, does that look tasty? Well, let's build our plates. joining me for what I eat in a day Mediterranean diet March edition. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's food and if you're interested in having a copy of the recipe of the deconstructed chicken cacciatore, I've created a PDF download. You can go to my website. I'll put a link in the description box below. You can go there and download the recipe and make it for your own family. I hope to see you next month when we do the April edition. Take care and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Bye!